Welcome to Tube Talk. Are you welcoming me? I'm welcoming everybody. Yeah, second week back. Yeah. Yeah, right. Let's get into it. <laughs> no mucking around. Well, you are the interviewer. Yeah. I am the interviewer. Right, okay. So I'm, You're waiting. I will wait. Okay. Yeah. So, um, probably the least said about our runners last week, the better, but we probably need to touch on them. No, we don't. All right. Good. Oh, okay. Just briefly. Well, Prince Mambo has just had enough. Very good horse. He's you know, group one place twice. I think when he went to treat them, ran fourth in that group one lead. I think that just knocked the stuffing out of him. And mm. um, he's just had enough. Go to the paddock. Uh, for well to break. He's done a fantastic job. Uh, Dixie Express jarred up very, very badly. Mm. She's gone to the paddock. Uh, Adivari was not ridden well. We wanted her ridden cold. And she was three wide on the speed, facing the breeze. Very bad ride. Um, so you get days like that. Mm. Got to move on. Got to move on. They're all good horses. The thing is, they're not made and it's running down the track. They're all good horses yeah. uh, with bright futures. Yeah. So you know, that's easier an easier pill to take. <laughs> yeah. Um, so, but we can talk about the weekend in terms of hosting our owners. We yeah. had. Um... Now I'm going to actually just ask you: Can you move that way a bit? Sure. Because otherwise, I think if someone said to me last week, "You're looking here and you're looking there," but <laughs> there, I'm looking at you. It might be there better. Go. Is that good? It's yeah. good for me. Oh. How is it for the viewers? <laughs> we'll find out. We'll get feedback. Okay. So we'll talk about um, the lovely time we had hosting our owners on the weekend at two separate events. Yep. Uh, at the Avondale Cup, first of all. Yeah. So we sponsored the Avondale Cup on Saturday, which is our second year of sponsoring. The Avondale right? Gold Cup. Avondale Gold Cup Group Two. Mm. And it was nearly a perfect result in that Lisa Latter, one of our trainers, just about got up and won. Mm. I know, so it would be mm. nice to have handed the money to her. Um, but it's been a fantastic race, as we know. Sanks to won it two years ago as a group one winner in Australia. Who shot the barman, won it last year. Both horses went on to win the Auckland Cup. Mm. And who shot the barman, ran third in the Melbourne Cup. It was another strong field. And it was look, it was great to have owners up there, all the Prince member people were there because they had him running and uh, we had a really, really fun time. It was great. We did. But there was one thing we, well, you needed to apologise for. No, you need to apologise. <laughs> we had a little gambling syndicate, which we started off and we ended up with about half our kitty. But it was you, wasn't it you and uh, the wife of the face of Go Racing, Julie Dick, who squandered most of that money with your selections? <laughs> I don't think we were alone in squandering it with our selections. I think it was a groupy fish. Well, yeah, I may have squandered it on the last. <laughs> but there's still a little pot there. There's yeah. still a pot there. So that's we'll, carried on. Yeah, we'll carry that on. Yeah. yeah. And then the next day on the Sunday, we were out at Haunui Farm. Yeah, fantastic day. We had about 60 people there. Mm. We're looking at the yearlings that we've purchased. Horses look great. Haunui Farm have done a fantastic job. Aren't they great people? Yeah. The leaders did a super job. Um, and then we retired and had a fantastic lunch. Mm. Some debate over whether the pork belly was better than the fish, <laughs> but the pork belly, I think, won out. A couple of wines. Mm. Great way to spend a Sunday afternoon. And, um, and everyone was invited, and we got, but you know, everyone would be welcome to come next year. But mm. we had 60 people there, it was excellent. Great I day. think the owners enjoyed the opportunity to get up close with their horse and say hello yeah. and. And Give also, them a pat. And also to meet other owners. Mm. And to meet mixed together. Yeah. And get to know people. There it's really nice. A few friendships I think made. And there were pony rides for the kids. <laughs> yes, there was. Yeah. So they were happy too. Yeah. Yeah. Right. So um, let's talk about this weekend then. Yeah. Um, Caesar is um, at Matter Matter on Saturday. Yeah, Caesar the moment who's in a fantastic run of form. Mm. Um, he won a treat from two starts back last start. He should have won last start, got beaten in the nose on Premier Day at Waikato. But Matt Cameron, who was on the inside horse, went to whip his horse and he hit poor Caesar over the head with his whip mm. so hard that the whip broke. And Caesar naturally flinched, and that's what got him beaten by a nose. So, so he, Matt Cameron's got some making up to do. Yeah, yeah. So Matt Cameron's riding Caesar moment this mm. weekend because Danielle is riding out at Otaki. So that's. So look, really happy to have him on though, he's a great jockey, he's mm. leading the premiership, he and Daniela are battling it out, mm. so good to get him. Mm. Um, barrier 3, perfect, perfect barrier for him, he should sit reasonably handy, and he should be very hard to beat. Great. Um, same day, but Otaki, Taipa Tiger. Yeah, Taipa 
Tiger who ran third last start. Uh, one of the most placed horses in New Zealand. <laughs> but I think Dubious last... Dubious honour. Yeah, but I think, look, last start, I think we rode him better. He was... He, we rode him to chase, and so he was running a touch quieter, and he mm, chased them home. Mm. And um, I think that's the way to ride him. He's drawn uh, very four. He should probably sit in the first half dozen, I think. But I, and I think we almost need to hold him up for a run and then let him go about the 200. Mm. So it's a 17 and a half thousand dollar race. It's a nice race. And um, look, and if he decides that he wants to win, he will. Um, I'm sure he'll run well. I'm sure, though, also he wouldn't mind a little bit of giving the tracks when that comes mm. as well. But he'll be very competitive. Kelly Myers on board again, who ran him well last start. And on Sunday, Sadler's wa- Rock at Wairoa. Sadler's Wok at Wairoa. Sadler's it Rock. is Chinese New Year today. It is the Year of the Sheep. Yeah. It's got to be lucky for you. Or Goat. It's either. Is it? Yeah. Or sheep. Yeah, no, it can be sheep or goat. Well, how come? Because some some horoscopes say it's sheep and some right. say it's goat. Some say it's ram, actually. Is it? Well, it's got to be lucky for New Zealanders this year, the sheep. Not year of the horse, though. That was last year, wasn't mm. it? Yeah. So, um, anyway, we're rambling. Um, so, Sadler's, Sadler's Rock. Rock. Yeah, look, we elected to go to this race. It's a $30,000 race. The Warrior Cup, over 2,100 metres. The distance will suit him. The track should be hard, which will also suit him. Um, the field isn't out until tomorrow. We've already got Kelly Myers booked. And look, on his last start third, was his last start third was really good. And I think he's on the way up. And I think he'll be very competitive on Sunday uh, in that race. He should get in with 54 kilos, I think, looking at the nominations, but we won't know to withdrawals. Mm. Yeah, he'll be competitive. Mm-hmm. And then um, looking here to next Wednesday, although I know the, the fields aren't out, but um, we've got a couple, no, four lined up there, haven't we, at Tarapa on next Wednesday? Yeah, potentially four. Yeah. And there could be, there's a few horses there that we're just deciding the next day whether we're going to mm. nominate them or not, but Tirapa next Wednesday... Poetic Affair will debut. Mm. Two year old. Um, another The Way You Are Philly, and she uh, will have blinkers on. Um, she's more of a three year old type, but the blinkers seem to have sharpened her up, and it'll be a good experience for her. Lucky Country, good last start. Third is likely to go there in a 75 mile. Silver Rider of 1400 may go there, and he's a, he's a wee sneaky because he had a virus last start when we expect him to run well which is why he didn't run so well. Uh, Sister O'Reilly, fourth last out over a mile, continues to improve and will also be competitive. So those horses are the ones likely to be racing there. Silver Rod, maybe not. We might keep them another week. Um, it's just a little bit up in the air, but watch but yeah, watch out because our report will be after the races. Next watch week, so. out. Watch the TAB website. <laughs> watch the racing website. That sounds sinister. <laughs> so... Um, uh, yeah, and no, I'll go down. I'll, I'll go down next Wednesday. Um, three or four runners and three or four nice horses. Yeah. Okay, and so we let's end with a spotlight on one of our yearlings. Um, oh and dear. I know that we've got the new ad coming out this week on TV yes. on the track side. So watch out for that. Yes. Do you and want to talk more about that horse? Yeah, and there was a warning in the report. It did say that. Um, the camera can add a few pounds to certain people that, that it will appear. Uh, so yeah, it's a new, it's a brand new ad. So it's got new, different. It's yeah, it's brand new, which is quite. It exciting. looks good, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. We're look pleased exciting. with it. Yeah, and um, so we're talking about the Paul Moi. Now, the Paul Moi folly. Paul Moi, he won the English Derby. Stunning winner of it came from near last. Came from last actually to win. Uh, that's the one where the French jockey stands up in the stirrups, two strides for the line, waves his, his whip in the air, but he wasn't actually in front, and he only got in front, uh, right on the line. So it could have been a great faux pas, but it wasn't faux pas. Another French word, French horse, French jockey. So, um, <laughs> so he was the sire, uh, good staying sire, out of a Volkswagen near Soriston, who won twice over two thousand metres. Family of Just a Dancer, who won the Two Mile Sydney Cup in track record time. Field Dancer Group 1 winner. Family of Blanchard, who is a Group 3 weight for age winner over a mile and a half. So some really good stout staying blood. But there's also a little bit of speed interspersed there uh, in her pedigree. And she actually looks quite mature. She looks like 
while she's bred to be a three-year-old, I would not be surprised if we saw her at the races as a as a two-year-old at some point. I think she's a, I think she's a, a gorgeous, mature filly. And um, how much is left in her? Uh, had a bit of a run with it. There's only yeah. about, there's only about twenty percent left. Right. Now. So yeah. So how how do I go about buying a share, Albert? <laughs> Sounds like we're still in the nutri bullet. Um, so anyone that's interested, uh, give me give me a call or drop us an email. Um, have a look on, on the website. Watch out for those ads on TV. Yeah, watch out for the ads. I th- I, I suspect that she'll sell out over the weekend because mm. we've got that ad running. There's a, and we've also running an ad in the paper in the Sunday Star Times. So I suspect she will. So if you are keen on her year, let me know. Always great to have our owners involved in our yearlings. I think we'll end it there. Yeah, and then next week we can talk about the um, the Auckland Cup week coming up. Yep. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Thanks, Melissa. Bye.